Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, what I've been doing is, uh, when I was driving the car, I had like a bit of a hesitation in the acceleration, Splut like, like a bit of a splutter. So what I've done, I've, uh, let me show you. I've basically disconnected the battery, the earth, unclipped that clip there and the one just down the side of here on the earth filter. I've then undone this screw here, this bolt, undone that, slackened this off, pulled it out of the way and disconnected this. But obviously, first of all, I've took the earth lead off first disconnected that undone the box away from the the uh, car unscrewed that bolt and unscrewed the other one same one on the opposite side and then this comes away and then what I've done then I've sprayed it with this now I'll give it a good spray, I'll give it a good spray, left it for about an hour, an hour and a half. Then, once I've known it's been dry, it's totally dry, I've connected it back in, reverse, pushing this pipe hose back on, connecting the box, clipping the clips back down, Connecting the plug and then connecting the earth lead back. Did it work? Well, yes it did. It did work. So it was just a bit of a an hesitation in the uh, acceleration. Like when you're in first, it was all right. Second, it was all right. a bit of a to 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 and then go. Only a split second, and then in third it could it seemed to do it a bit as well. When you give it more gas, more revs, go, it clears it. But then when you're in lower gear again, second, third, it just gives a bit of a splutter. So before you you think if it's anything else, or just try it with the map sensor. Give it a really good spray with that. That is that's all I've done with that. Give it a good spray, 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 spray. Then I've left it for an hour and a half, connected it all back together, and it worked absolutely brilliant. Now, obviously, I'm in this shirt today. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the rain sensor. I'm going to be, I've got like a bit of a problem with my rain sensor, so I'm just going to show you. Rain sensor wasn't uh, sticking, so obviously when it's raining, it wasn't the rain sensor's wipers wasn't working. So I've got a pad, a sensor pad, a sensor gel pad coming tomorrow. I've tried always to get one for the Kia Sportage, and uh, couldn't get one anywhere. So I've got one where you've got to basically cut it yourself. I couldn't get the one where it's like a gel and you you push it together like a syringe and mix it because there's no lip on the end of the uh, vein sensor so you couldn't just hold it in place. You've got to have like a bit of a, a, a depth in it. So the pads that I've ordered is coming tomorrow and then obviously another thing I'm going to be putting on the Blue Spark tuning box. Now it's not for performance. I don't want it for performance. I want it to save uh, better economy on the car, better fuel consumption. It is quite good anyway on this 1.7, but I want more of a, a range through the gears. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. So please hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that little bell icon so you know when I have put the other videos up. And... I'll show you exactly 
I will connect the uh, Blue Spark tuning box and I will fix the rain sensor wiper. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon on the next one. Get that bloody, uh, get that bell icon touched and then you know when I have uploaded it up. So I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. I'll see you on the next one.